everyone. There was a technical error just now, so the video was ended <laughs> before we even started. And uh, here we go again. You're going to learn today in my live streaming how to perform extremely well under pressure. What inspired me to do this live streaming was uh, last week, uh, two weeks ago, I was asked the day before a speech to give a speech the next day. So how do you perform well under that kind of extreme pressure? And luckily in the speech that I was doing very well and I received very good reviews afterwards, there was one uh, audience member, he came to me, he said, I have attended a lot of presentations, a lot of speeches, but I still learned a lot from what you've shared. And I felt so motivated. And I was so glad that I did well. And it reminded me that when I was in schools, uh, I remember that in my high school, hi, HT Who, and I hope that you, were you the one who joined me just now? So when we started and then ended very soon, within a minute, so the video, and there was some technical error. And when I was in high schools, uh, that was the best high school in where I was. And uh, I was in the top 20 when I went into that school. And in the first semester uh, exam, I was so nervous. And it, it was beyond nervousness. I was terrified because I was so worried if I would still stay in top 20. And so the day before the exam, I was not even able to function. I was super, super nervous and terrified. And all those words you heard, like anxiety, I believe that I had anxiety. I believe I had panic. So I couldn't even function. I couldn't even think, couldn't even look at my books to prepare. And uh, I couldn't take it anymore. So I told my parents, I said, oh, I'm so anxious. I'm, I couldn't function. And I'm so uh, terrified about tomorrow's exam. And uh, my parents, so they, they also didn't, they, they never learned how to uh, comfort a panic person, a panic child, a terrified person who is scared of the exam. But they knew someone. So our family friends and uh, that family friend who was uh, an uncle, he was the headmaster of a school, a middle school. And so my parents, uh, my, I, my dad uh, took me to that headmaster's home and uh, he gave me some comfort, gave me some encouragement. I didn't remember what he said. I only remembered that after we came back, I felt much better. And uh, I started to think about whether I would be able to stay in the top 20. Instead, I was preparing myself to be mentally ready. And uh, I remember that afterwards, the second day, and uh, I was not only in the top 20, but also I was in top 10. So from that moment on, I knew that whenever I was under pressure, no matter how anxious, how panicked, how terrified I was, I knew that I would do well no matter what. What actually happened now that over so many years that when I reflected, reflected upon that, I, re I realized what happened was I, I let go of the attachment to the results. Hi, Liz. Thank you for joining me. And when I let go of the attachment to the results, I would be able to perform well. And as long as we're human beings, that we will still get anxious, we will still get panic at times. I'm not, I'm not sure about you, I still get panic at times. But whenever I get terrified, scared, nervous, panic, terrified, I had the confidence that I knew I would be able to do well because of all those past experiences I had. And that extreme case where I was terrified. Hi, Liz. Thank you. And uh, so what grow, what grew in me was that confidence that I know, even though I would have strong, extreme pressures, but I would perform, I would perform well. Just like the speech I gave two weeks ago, I knew that 
even though I was under pressure, I knew I would do well. Because the key, there are two things, I'm not sure if you have heard those two things I have shared. One is that have the confidence. And how do you have the confidence? Uh, sometimes the confidence can be blind, which also there's a term for that. It is called faith. Uh, even if you have, have not done something, but you knew you were able to do it, that's faith. Uh, so one is have faith in yourself. The other one is keep trying, keep doing, and that's where you're going to gain confidence. Confidence is not achieved by you thinking about it. It is achieved by you keep doing it. So because I have done that, when I was in the, in the state of panic, I was able to perform extremely well. I knew that in the future, whatever panic, stressful situations I will be in, I will be able to perform well. So faith, confidence coming from doing it. And three, what made me got into the top 10 in my entire uh, school, even though I was in panic the day before, was I let go of the attachment of the result. When you let go of the attachment of the result, you will be able to perform well. So the speech I was talking about, I was sp speaking to 80 people. Uh, so I was able to engage them because I knew I had known that before the day before. So those came from the experiences, the events that happened in my past. Also that always learn from your experiences. So those are the three things that I hope you will be able to use them in the next situation that you need confidence. Faith, have faith in yourself, even if you have not done that. Have confidence in yourself. Confidence coming from that keep trying, keep doing. And three is let go of the result. And the attachment to the result. Let go of the result doesn't mean that you don't care about the result anymore or you don't care about anything anymore. Let go of the attachment to the result means that you are going to pay attention to the process. Make sure that you prepared well for every single step. If you can do that, you knew you have the knowing that the result will come to you and the result will turn out perfect. So hi, Tin Lu. Thank you for joining me. Unfortunately, I'm going to be ending soon, so you can watch the replay. And thank you for everyone who joined me. And I hope that you can perform extremely well in all stressful situations, even when you are scared, when you are terrified, when you are in panic. Remember these three things. Face, confidence, and let go of the attachment to your result. So today is over the hump day, Thursday, and I'm, ex I'm happy because tomorrow is Friday. Friday is always a joyful day. And uh, have a great hump day, uh, over the hump day, and enjoy the rest of the week. Bye, everyone.